We all know and love PowerPoint for the presentation tool that it is. But did you know that you could create scenario-based branching in PowerPoint? Hi, my name is William Everhart, and I would love to share with you this very, very powerful feature. So here I have my PowerPoint slide deck, and in this case, the learner is going to take the role of a customer service rep and respond to a customer that's calling in. So here is the first slide, and I have a button right below the first answer that the learner can choose from. But where did I get this button from? Well, I'm going to go up to the Insert ribbon. And on the insert ribbon, we have shapes. Now, normally this is what I would use to draw out a button type shape, but there is this little overlooked feature of the shapes panel. If you go all the way to the bottom, there is this thing called action buttons. And in here, you will find a series of pre-built buttons with pre-built actions. Things like go to the forward or next slide, go to the previous slide, go to the first or last slide. There's all types of just little interactions in here. But if you wanted to create your own custom action, like I do here, there is a blank action button. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw out my button. And now I just select what I want my button to do. So I'm going to hyperlink it, not to the next slide, but I'm going to choose a particular slide. Here's my slide list. And this one, I want it to be F1G. So I'll select that, tell it OK, and OK. Now, the shape is here. I'm just going to click on it one more time, and I'm going to put the label on it. Now that the label is here, let's test it out. So if I select this button, my customer is not too happy. So let me go back, and let me try this button. You see, I get a completely different slide. And I can proceed and get my next scenario. So there you have it, branching in PowerPoint, a really amazing little feature that I bet you didn't know PowerPoint had.